<laughs> we are the Windsor family, inbred through and through. That's why I say fresh DNA is what we need from you. She's an American divorcee. We've never had that before. Though being divorced, she'd probably fit in with our family a little bit more. <laughs> oh! She's mixed race like Prince Philip, who is split. He's half Greek and half bigoted fuckwit. <laughs> Rocket. Have no problem, she's an actress or from the colonies. But being a Roman Catholic, convert or piss off, please. She's free to speak her mind, a thoroughly modern man. As long as she shuts down Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, she'll be a famous princess. I say this without malice. She'll smash the unequal medieval system while still living in a palace. <laughs> ecstasy 24 hour ass licking on the BBC all those chinless wonders posing Nicholas Winchell is brown nosing in HD la 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 they're still treating us like we're all divine tonight we're going to party like it's 13.99 and watch Prince Charles's face sicken as we serve him up coronation chicken <laughs> and Prince Philip solo <laughs> Slitty eyes. <laughs> they both took a blood test, like the septics do. Hers was AB negative, and his was mystical blue. She started off on deal or no deal, but now she is blessed. Because when you're in the royal family, the banker always says yes. <laughs> Americans hate queuing, but she'll have to be resigned. Because Prince Harry is already fifth in line. <laughs> Just like he was in the orgy. <laughs> she said we got so much in common, me and Harry. Because my dad wasn't related to the royal family. <laughs> inclusive conception. Some commoners can join us, but only for the reception. We've already got a coffee maker. He's a footman called Bob. I love Bob. We're footing the bill for this special day, using savings we made from all the tax we never pay. And when it comes down to screwing you, we all say Signing off now.